Hello, my name is Dennis Smith. I'm an Associate Professor of Humanities here at OSU Oklahoma City. I am also the Honors Coordinator of our Honors Program here at OSU Oklahoma City. Uh, the Honors Program at OSU Oklahoma City provides opportunities for students to study, research, and exchange ideas in a challenging and supportive academic environment. The designation of honors credit on a student's transcript indicates that the student showed superior scholarship and pursued knowledge beyond the scope of the regular course of study offered in non-honors classes. Um, to become an honors uh, scholar here at OSU OKC, uh, first of all you have to be admitted into the honors program. Uh, that is a process where you fill out an application, you provide us uh, supporting materials, uh, which would mean transcripts, uh, test scores if they're asked for, uh, and then you would submit that application to me, um, and I would take it within, well, you would submit that application to me within the first two weeks of the semester. Then I would take that uh, application to the Honors Committee, and they would review that and then come back with a response for you. Uh, the requirements uh, for the Honors Program are listed not only on the, this sheet that you can find uh, on the uh, Honors site uh, there uh, at the OSU Oklahoma City uh, homepage, uh, but you can also come by my office, which is LRC uh, 307, uh, and get the information. Um, but I won't uh, go uh, a great deal into that. All I'll say is that uh, new freshmen would basically have to have an ACT of 23, uh, or students who have maintained a three-point with 30 hours or less or a 3.25 with 30 or more hours would be eligible for the honors program. So uh, that's one of those things. Uh, there's also on this information sheet, uh, there's a, an application that's on the back of there which asks for your name and a, uh, some uh, personal information along with uh, your academic progress uh, to date. And that would be the application that you would need to submit to me by the end of the second week of the semester for me to take to the Honors Committee. Uh, if the Honors Committee approves your application, then you would have uh, uh, the opportunity to earn honors credit here at OSU Oklahoma City. And there's two ways that you can do that. First of all, you can, be, um, uh, you can enroll in an honors section. And in an honor section, that means that everyone in the class is an honor student. Uh, usually those students or those classes are a little smaller in size, uh, but you have a wonderful opportunity to not only have a great instructor in there uh, dealing with you on whatever the subject matter would happen to be, but you're also uh, working with, again, the peers uh, in your honors program. So uh, it's usually an enlightening and uh, exciting type of class to be in. So that would be one way that you could earn honors credit. Another way to earn honors credit is through what we call an honors contract. Now you can take an honors contract uh, in any class that we offer here at OSU Oklahoma City. Uh, you would uh, get with your instructor, uh, you would take uh, this form, and you can get these forms from me or the division offices, uh, and you fill out that form and you also uh, name a project that you would do to uh, receive honors credit. Uh, and so working with your instructor, uh, that uh, honors project should include things like research, uh, some sort of uh, uh, exhibiting document like a research paper, uh, and then a presentation or a sharing with a class of uh, the material that you found. Uh, if you complete all of those things, complete the contract, then uh, the instructor will uh, notify or note that on the contract, sign it and send it back to me at the end of the semester. Uh, and then when the instructor uh, posts your grade for the end of the semester, if you made an A or a B, then he would also put an H beside uh, your grade, which means that uh, on your transcript it would show that you took that class, but you also received uh, honors credit for the class. Now, when it comes time to graduate, if you have um, earned 15 or more honors uh, hours, you would be recognized at graduation uh, as an honor scholar, which means that you'd have the opportunity to wear uh, the honors uh, medal uh, and then also be recognized uh, in the uh, uh, graduation uh, booklet that you uh, had uh, received this, uh, this award. Uh, then also on your transcript, it would be noted that you had uh, graduated as an honor scholar. So, to uh, find out more information about becoming an honor student, there are several things you can do. One, you can go to the OSU Oklahoma City homepage, go to Academics, and once you uh, come to Academics, there'll be several bars that'll come down there. And the bottom one will be PTK Honors. You go to there, and then it'll direct you onto the Honors Program. In there, it'll give you more information. It'll also have uh, a digital copy of uh, the uh, 
um, admissions uh, into the honors program form, uh, so you can do that all online. Uh, or you can come by my office. And again, my office is in LRC, the Learning Resource Center. It's on the third floor, so the uh, number is 307. My telephone number is, of course, area code 405-945-3246. Uh, Thank you.